Hello everyone, uh, you may remember my last video of my Blackberry Storm Verizon, yes it's about a year old, it's got some scratches uh, running four icons okay uh, in my last video I talked about the phone that was before this which was my Motorola Q. Uh, maybe I'm just kind of being weird about it and I'm just going to do a little neat comparison just because I kind of watch enough of these and I want to try my hand at it. Anyway, this is my Motorola Q 9C. I can't do any tests with this because the carrier no longer exists, which was also, and it's no longer under contract, so therefore it doesn't work. But this is Windows Mobile 6, now 6.5, not 5.0. This is basically what you would get on Windows Mobile 5 and 6. You could modify this any way you wanted, and you could also run this where it looked like regular. Windows screen. You have your start button and you have your contacts, which all my phone numbers I delete off. Anyway, very slim phone. Speakers in the back. Scroll wheel, which is something you don't see anymore. The back key, which takes you back to your last option. Um, mini USB, not micro, mini. And it was a VGA camera. I think it was like... I think it was like one or two megapixels. Anyway, this did have better video quality. Hands down than the Q, which... granted... two years old, maybe three versus a little over a year old. Um, they both, the Windows Mobile 6 did support applications. It was before the application thing got really big. And we all know that uh, Windows Marketplace is kind of garbage. But it did support apps. It did have some. They didn't run as nice as they ran on here. But it did do it. Now the one thing that kind of depresses me about it is this phone constantly runs in EVOD, which was a all tell ran. Well, this phone over here, it says EV right now, but in a couple minutes it's going to drop that, which isn't, which some people say isn't a big deal. But when this phone runs EV all the time and never loses it. Or this one does. I don't know if it's a tower problem or if my phone's just is faulty because another friend with the same kind of phone does not share the same problem. See, Storm's micro USB, like all the other Blackberries, are micro USB. Um, three and a half millimeter headphone jack and two and a half millimeter, which was really depressing. Because when I got this phone, it was the idea of it actually being my MP3 player. But you can kind of get the idea. Well, as you can see, both phones are still lit up. And I'm probably going to have to break this up into two parts. Because all I'm about to do is going to take a while. Here's the SIM card. Here's the SIM card. So I'm going to demonstrate the only reason why I would consider using this phone again.
and this is the time split. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this battery in first. Now I know what you're going to say. Well, you're giving the storm a head start. Because as soon as you put the battery in, it comes to life. Well, check this out. But keep in mind, this is Windows. Now granted, it don't have a touch screen or nothing like that. But it's still Windows. And how everyone says, oh, Windows is garbage. It takes forever to boot. Well, check this out. Blackberry still got the clock. Didn't even get the logo yet. And splash screen on his mobile. And we are in the full OS. And we are just now getting the load screen. And the Moto Q is already timed out. Isn't that depressing? That you can do battery pulls and even have to turn this one on, it'll still boot faster than this. And come on, Blackberry. Really? Anyway, the full keyboard is nice. Because it was kind of nice just to start down numbers and it would automatically do it. Well, I can't show you on this because it's still loading. But I'd have to hit, hit my phone and then dial or this. And another cool thing was like they made me do all search. Well, you could just start typing stuff on this and it would instantly search through your phone book instead of having to open and search. I don't know. All I know is Blackberry, if you want people to really come to your stuff, you gotta work on your boot times and make it a little more cross platform instead of picking and choosing which phone gets what. And I think I'm gonna leave it at this. Thank you.